Welcome back everybody, my name is Tommy McCarthy and this is Let's Talk Cyber. I am delighted to welcome a future superstar of cybersecurity. I met this young lady, Afra Al Mansouri, some years ago uh, in Dubai at JISEC. We met again in Abu Dhabi and I was delighted to catch up with Afra at the Global Government Cloud Forum back in January. I invited her to come along and share some of her views and opinions on cybersecurity and we're going to talk about AI, but first of all, Afra, welcome to Let's Talk Cyber. Thank you, Tommy. And it's a pleasure to have you here. Remember what I said, we're here to share some knowledge with our with our viewers. Afra, we're going to talk a little bit about um, AI, but before we do, one thing that's clearly evident to not just me, but everybody else that's out there in the cyber community, realizing AI is taking over the world at a rapid, rapid rate. And it's a, it's a delight that we've got young professionals like you an avid member of the women in cybersecurity in the Middle East, being championed by the leaders there in that group. And hopefully one day we'll see you there at the top of the ladder. It's it's clear to me that cybersecurity needs to keep up with the trends and keep up with the times. And AI is certainly something that we all need to take a real hard grip of because it, it's it's expanding on such a rapid pace. What I want to do is ask you a few questions about your views and your opinions about AI. What's one of the things about AI and cybersecurity that most people completely misunderstand? What are people not getting about AI and cybersecurity? Uh, it's a good question, uh, Tommy. Uh, many believe that AI is like a magic bullet, like a fully autonomous uh, solution that once deployed, it will automat uh, automatically secure systems without uh, any human involvement. But in reality, AI in uh, cybersecurity is a powerful tool designed to augment human expertise rather than actually replacing, uh, replacing them. So here, the misconception lies in uh, overestimating the capabilities of AI and and while it can process and analyze vast amounts of data far faster than uh, human expertise, it still heavily depends on the quality of training the program, the algorithms even in use, and the continuous human oversight. So, uh, for example, uh, as you know, AI systems may struggle with novel or adaptive threats unless they are uh, regularly updated with uh, fresh intelligence and data. And uh, moreover, uh, adversaries are now employing AI in uh, AI techniques themselves, creating a uh, arms race where uh, contextual uh, misunderstanding or understanding ethical considerations and even strategic um, judgment uh, are crucial uh, areas where human insights, like from my point of view, uh, remains undecisable. Yeah, you just touched on something really interesting there. And I think this is what people are misconceiving about AI. There's still a human interaction when it comes to expanding the capability of AI. Would I would I would I be right in saying that? Is that your humble opinion? Yes, from my point of view, it still requires a human intervention. Like, uh, of course, uh, the algorithms, when they are going to be used, we have to have actual data, actual uh, data that can be used in uh, detecting, for example, anomalies or uh, understanding how cyber threats uh, are uh, occurring. Yeah, good. Well, you know, then it's interesting because it leads me on to my next question. And so how can AI look to, well, how can AI transform cyber, cybersecurity from, a, from a, a reactive to more of a proactive approach? What are your views on that? Um, you know, uh, Tommy, traditional uh, cybersecurity is uh, like relying on predefined rules currently so making it reactive and often uh, can often really slow the uh, encounter of new threats from my point of view so as ai is used it ai actually shifts this approach by continuously analyzing uh, vast amounts of data as i specified before and uh, it really detects anomalies uh, and predicts the threats that might happen or might happen before uh, the incident might occur or the threat might occur. So machine learning enables AI to uh, identify these patterns, automate uh, threat hunting, and even adapt defenses in uh, real time. So uh, there is a risk, however, uh, when AI is introduced, as AI uh, also introduces uh, risks as adversarial uh, risks, as I specified before, adversarial uh, attacks uh, manipulate AI models, really. 
as we are moving on to the uh, new technology. So to ensure the effectiveness actually of um, the organizations, for example, we uh, organizations must secure AI systems through uh, adversarial training. This is one point. And we have to explain how or train how AI techniques are, uh, are used. So while AI, uh, introduces uh, and enhances cyber security, human expertise remains crucial uh, investment in overseeing and improving the decision making. But by integrating uh, AI uh, with traditional uh, security measures, uh, organizations, from my point of view, can see ahead uh, of cyber threats that might occur and build a more uh, resilient uh, cyber defense system. Well, it's, it's that's quite interesting, actually. Did I ask... Did I ask the right question there? Because you certainly gave me enough of a response. Let me ask you something that's not in our question bank. Are you using AI in your everyday life, either for work or for pleasure? Of course. Uh, currently, uh, like for example, in my daily life, I use AI for everything. I use uh, AI for um, completing tasks, uh, AI for implementing a new code, for example, for a website or uh, other like uh, tasks that might uh, be included in my life. So AI is a core. Uh, from my point of view, it became a core uh, aspect in um, our daily lives and like using it. So how do you know if AI is not influencing the, the, the decisions that you make? How do you know that you're making the, the decisions for how you approach projects on your own basis as opposed to allowing AI to influence you? How do you manage that? For example, like uh, for my uh, from my perspective, I use AI to enhance, like for example, my thought or give me more knowledge of how, like for example, I can implement stuff either, uh, even if they are like, code based or uh, uh, cyber security, for example, uh, new projects or uh, tools that might be used. I don't use AI to fully uh, automate or uh, conduct my tasks. I use AI to enhance how I work. Apologies for throwing that question in there, Afra, but let me tell you, that was an awesome response. Thank it you. clearly uh, It clearly defines to me that you, you understand how to manage your AI interactions and, and how to look at the benefits that AI is bringing to your day-to-day -day work life. Now then, the bad guys, yes, the cyber criminals, they're clearly using AI to, to leverage their ability, um, you know, obviously in cyber attacks. How can we um, defend against these uh, bad guys using AI? What, we, what are we doing to, to combat the bad guys? Uh, uh, there are many points that like, I can address in uh, this question. Cyber criminals are really using AI or leveraging AI to launch advanced, automated and highly targeted attacks. As you know, we're moving into a, an era of using a lot of new technology tools that might be implemented or used uh, in a good way or in a bad way. So AI-powered phishing creates really realistic uh, emails or texts and deepfake, as you know, deepfake has become yeah. a trend in uh, the past uh, months. So increasing the success of uh, social engineering. So adaptive malware and uh, ransomware really use AI to evade detection and modifying their behavior in real time to bypass codes or bypass security measures. So here we are talking about a good uh, infrastructure or a good ar uh, architecture of a uh, an organization. So uh, security professionals will bypass this and updated uh, security measures have been implemented. So uh, to encounter, from my point of view, uh, these threats, um, there are many points that can be addressed, like organizers, organizations must uh, implement AI-driven cyber t security solutions uh, capable to um, adapt or uh, uh, detect real-time threat detection uh, and anomaly analysis, which is a key point here, and uh, the adversarial training to strength uh, strengthen these defenses. So... Uh, here, we will ensure the transparency and security decisions. And uh, while continuous objects are occurring uh, uh, by human oversight or by the AI uh, tools, human oversight, uh, like I have to point uh, this note, is critical in identifying the complex threats that might occur. So we are not fully dependent on AI from my point of view. And... Um, 
a combination of AI and strong governance and proactive um, threat intelligence sharing uh, is essential in staying ahead of uh, cybersecurity threats that might uh, we that we might encounter in the future. Well, certainly governance and I believe ethical use of AI will have to be a part of every day's uh, everybody's day-to-day -day interactions. When you're looking at using AI tools, I think you have to be you have to be guided by the governance obligations you have as a professional. And then ethically, I think it's really important ethically that you do the right thing. How do you stay innovative um, and, and creative when it comes to, you know, um, keeping up with AI and cybersecurity? How, how are you going to stay uh, um, sort of creative? Um, I see uh, innovative in many aspects. Like I see innovative in the field, um, field by continuous learning. And I have a, I allocate really time in my, uh, my time in reading the latest research papers or even industry reports or new, uh, news might be um, critical in uh, AI, for example, or cybersecurity or the latest trend in uh, technology. And I have engagement really with outside uh, traditional like tech uh, boundaries. I really uh, network with good industry leaders in the cybersecurity field to be able, uh, to get insight from them as they are, uh, uh, they have implemented or they have used these tools in uh, their organizations, and um, as as this is a uh, point that might be important in being innovating and staying innovative. Of of course, experimentation is a. Um, a critical aspect here. If you don't uh, experiment tools in AI or cybersecurity, you won't be able to actually defend yourself. You have to be uh, staying updated uh, on the, the latest tools and trends, and even if just conducting it in um, like a sandbox environment. This is really prat uh, practical from my point of view as I enter the cybersecurity field in the young age. If I, well, then I guess after a wow. What an amount of information. Are you sure you're, are you the real deal? Are you human? Or are you an AI Autobot that I'm speaking to right now? Because <laughs> that is an unbelievable amount of information about AI. Um, but we have a secret for you as well. I'm going to ask you if you had to sum up your own views on AI and cybersecurity philosophy. What is the one sentence that you'd give me to sum up AI philosophy as you see it? This is a very good question that is really hard for me to uh, answer. But if I'm able, going to be a long, it's going to be a long sentence. Yeah, I can tell right now. It's going to be a one sentence to wrap up everything. So uh, AI for me is a powerful tool, Ali, that uh, really uh, will be a key uh, point in the cybersecurity industry. But its true strength is lies in a balanced approach. So combining uh, automation, adaptability, and human intelligence will be a key point to stay updated on the evolving threats that might occur. So we are playing a two role. It's AI versus human. So now, was that in one breath? Did you have to breathe in in that sentence? Because if, if, you, if you didn't have to breathe, we'll class that as a sentence. Well done. Look, Afra, that was that's an awesome insight from a young person's perspective as to how you see AI adding value, how you see AI becoming the game changer in the world that you now live and work in, cybersecurity field. As you know, we're working towards the JISEC um, conference in less than a month's time, and there's going to be so much going on, including a generative AI workshop by OSP Cyber Academy. So. We would expect to see you and, and your gang there. Sure. I know for a f I know for a fact. There's no question. What I see in front of me is a, a future superstar of cybersecurity. They're next and the youngest CISO in Dubai. I have no doubt that you're going to raise to that level, Afra, because your passion is unquestionable. Everywhere there's anything to do with cyber, you always seem to be there. How on earth you find the time, I don't know. <laughs> Afra Al Mansori, the superstar of cybersecurity. Thank you. Thank Tom. you so much for so much for joining me on Let's Talk Cyber. Thank you so much, Tommy. It was a privilege. Wonderful.